don't microwave your food. It's actually making you sick. So I want to talk briefly about this. I'm still amazed by how many people do not know that using microwave food is actually really super bad for you. Why is that? The first thing is the radio waves that come from microwave actually ch change the composition of the proteins in foods. So if you ever had bread, for example, that you've microwaved, right? And it has that gooey flavor or you've cooked something and it has that chewiness that's weird. It actually causes a denuding or a changing in the protein structure, which if you're familiar with how your immune system works, creates different protein structure your body can react with. So it's actually bad. The first thing is it actually heats your food from the inside out and super heats that. So it actually destroys heat sensitive nutrients um, like your, your vitamins, B vitamins, and your antioxidants. The other thing that's really important to think about when you're microwaving your food is what is it sitting in or surrounded with? If you put it in a plastic container or you put it in plastic wrap, you're actually leaching out the plastic plasticizers into your food. And for those of you who are familiar with microplastics, you greatly, greatly increase the amount of microplastics that get in your food that then you then eat. The other thing that's interesting about radio waves and microwaves, we used to be, you know, they're actually radio radio waves is that when, they, when they're when they used to heat an object and they superheat it, it actually also changes the structure of water that's in the object. Now, that's a really interesting book. I mean, a really interesting topic. There's a book written on this called The Fourth Phase of Water. It talks about structured water and the importance of water. But the basic gist is that water com um, com comprises like 99.9% .9 of all the molecules in your body. And you want to have that water structured the right way. And radio waves actually cause a misalignment of the water molecules. Small nuance, the biggest issue has to do with the plastic, the container you're putting in, and the actual effect on the protein structure, and it also which can be inflammatory, and actually lowers the antioxidants and nutrient value in your food. So if you want to eat healthy food, you really should use a natural way to heat it up, whether it's in a toaster oven, on a stovetop, or some other way, but not heat up in your microwave. Sorry, but those, that's the reality. Um, there's an article about this as well that I have that um, we'll probably post somewhere on our social so you can look at that if you want to take a little deep dive into all the nuances of this. On a side note, microwaves were actually banned um, in Russia before Paris Strikeoff happened because they knew how bad it was for the population. So a communist country trying to protect their people basically outlawed them until Paris Strikeoff when they had access to more Western things. That's that's when um, microwaves actually infiltrated into the Russia to be used. But before that, they actually were not allowed. And it was interesting enough um, Russians are actually experts in microwaves and radio waves. They actually have been using it since the 1950s or 60s as actually a weapon, strangely enough. If you were an American in the embassy in Russia, it was actually considered a high-risk area. A lot of people got sick there. And one of the reasons why is, the um, strange enough, the Russians would actually bombard the embassy with radio waves. And one of the results was most people who went there got some kind of weird illness. Um, weird fact, you can't make this stuff up. That's what's crazy, you really can't make this stuff up. So anyway, point is don't use a microwave. Um, and there'll be an article associated somewhere you can take a peek at if you want.